Hey everybody, it's Dak here and welcome to our Pixelmon machine building guide. I'm going to be showing you the crafting recipes for a few of the machines in the Pixelmon mod and of course I will show you how to use them if that is necessary for that machine. First off we have the Poke Anvil which is different than a regular Minecraft Anvil, be aware of that. I personally was not aware of that when I first made it. it took me a while to figure that out. Here is the uh, recipe for it. It's basically an iron block just missing this one iron ingot. Let's go ahead and craft one up for you. I also have some aluminum stuff that I will show you what I'm doing with them in a second. There we go. Just like that you get a pokey anvil. I'm going to turn around, place it back here, and we are now going to use this pokey anvil. I'm going to right click this aluminum ingot onto it, and now I am going to hold down left click as if I were trying to break the block, but while using my hammer it will slowly turn this aluminum ingot into an aluminum plate. Now the better the hammer the quicker it will go so if I had a diamond hammer I probably would have been done already should have used a diamond hammer but I, I figured I could use aluminum and aluminum and there we go now we have an aluminum plate that is the main reason that you're gonna to wanna to have this pokey anvil for this guide at least is a lot of these machines do use an aluminum plate a very important machine in the Pixelmon world is the healer. If you do find a Pokemon Center, you're, gonna, you're not going to need to make one yourself, but it's nice to know how to. You're going to need a diamond, four iron ingots, and four aluminum plates. I should have the items in here, and I do, so let's go ahead and build this for you. And like a fool, I decided not to have a damaged Pokemon on me, so I apologize for that. I cannot use the machine for you, but I can place it down. And all you would do now is right click on the machine and oh, it still is going to heal my Chimchar even though he's at full health. You see it does its little uh, healing machine process and there you go. Now my Chimchar is at full health even though it, it was before that. The next machine is going to be a trading machine which has four different parts that I'm going to have to teach you how to make. The first one here is going to be the left handed holder. Uh, you're going to need a Pokeball and five aluminum plates. If you don't know how to make a Pokeball, I am going to have to send you to a separate video for this one because I'm not going to put this in this video. I do have a Pixelmon Pokeball crafting guide that you should see an annotation in the video for it. If you do know how to make a Pokeball, then you can just ignore that. You do not have to watch it. Let's go ahead and... Oh, I didn't have the items in there. I was unprepared. I apologize for that. It's not too big of a deal though since I am in creative. Here we go. So for the left-handed holder... You just make a little U shape and put a Pokeball in there, trade holder left. Moving on to the right handed holder, it is almost the exact same as the left but you need one extra aluminum plate. I'm going to guess I messed this one up too, oh no, I actually had the right items in there. And instead of just the U shape, you just put a little tail on it I like to think about and there you go, you now have a right trade holder. For the third part of the trading machine, you're going to have the centerpiece which is going to take four uh, redstone and five aluminum plates. So I'm going to grab this stuff here. I like to think of creating a small T with the redstone and then filling in the rest with the aluminum plates. And that is going to give you the trade panel, which is the centerpiece to the trading machine. Alright, the final piece you're going to need to make the trader is going to be the screen, which is going to take eight aluminum plates and a glass pane. I'm going to build this one for you real quick. It's kind of like a chest with the aluminum plates and then just put one glass pane in the middle or a whole stack if you want. And you get a trade monitor. Now you have all four pieces to make the trading machine and that is what I'm going to show you next. Alright, here's how you put those four pieces together. You just put the holders on either side of the center piece and then the screen on top. Pretty basic. I can just destroy the chest to get the things out of it. That's pretty cool too. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. But uh, putting the holders there, the trade panel in the middle and then of course the screen on top and you get the trade machine. To use the trade machine, just uh, put it down and right click on it. Puts you into this little screen. I would need another user here. It would put their name. I would choose my guy and click ready and then the other person would choose their Pokemon click ready and then right here you would accept the trade that way there's no way they can scam you out of your Pokemon uh, it's a pretty neat machine and a very important one in this mod next we have the fossil cleaner this machine is going to tell you what the fossil is when you have covered fossils so then you'll know what Pokemon you're going to get when you put it into a fossil machine you're going to need redstone aluminum plates and glass panes I'm going to get them here you're going to put the six aluminum plates on top. i got a bunch of them in my inventory right now. Uh, one redstone on either side of a glass pane right in the middle. And there you go. You get the fossil cleaner. This machine is pretty simple to make and is pretty useful. You're just going to place it down. And then once you have a fossil, you just right click it into there. Let's see if I can get a covered fossil. Covered fossil. Natural. Let's see if this works. Put it in there and it'll spin around. Spin and spin and spin and spin. And... 
it takes longer than I thought. All right, that wasn't too bad. Looks like I got an old amber. Is it gonna be? That's my guess. There we go. I got the old amber. So I'm gonna keep this old amber on me, and when we're done making the next machine, which is gonna be the fossil machine, I'm gonna show you how it's gonna turn that into an aerodactyl. As you can probably tell, our next machine is going to be the fossil machine, which is going to turn the fossils into Pokemon. There are four parts to that machine too, just like the trading machine, so I'm going to show you how to make each of those individual parts. First off, we have the base. Pretty simple. It's just going to take six aluminum plates, which I am getting a bunch of them here now. I'm going to have to clear my inventory in a minute. But there we go. Put them down just like a trap door, and you get a fossil machine base. The next part of the fossil machine is going to be the tank, which is going to take three water buckets and then a glass pane on each side of the water buckets. So I'm going to make this here. This is probably the most expensive one you have to make just because the water buckets, I mean aluminum's not too, too easy to get either, but the water buckets take a good amount of iron. There you go, you get a fossil machine tank, which is one of the main parts to the fossil machine. And now we have two parts to go. The next part of the fossil machine is going to be the screen that you're going to use and it's going to take one obsidian and four redstone dust. So let me make that quick for you. This, uh, this screen that I'm making here, what it's going to do is kind of tell you how far along in the process you are while the machine is creating your Pokemon out of the fossil. And the final part of the fossil machine is the top of it which is going to take five aluminum plates and one redstone dust. Very similar to the trade machine holder, but instead of, oops, that was backwards. Instead of a Pokeball, now it's redstone dust. And there we go, we get the fossil machine top. Now that we have all four parts, I will show you how to put them together. All right, here's the recipe for the fossil machine. I'm going to take the parts out of this chest and put it together for you. The top goes on the top, the base is at the bottom. You put the tank right in the middle of those two, and then on the side you have the machine display and you get a fossil machine out of it and oh, I still have the fossil cleaner in here I'm going to replace it with this fossil machine there's the display I was talking about insert fossil it'll be at zero percent go ahead and put my old amber in there and the old amber just doesn't fit in any of the machines but um, it's already at two percent and three percent I'm going to fast forward this clip or cut it out actually so that you don't have to watch this go all the way to a hundred percent Alright, so here you can see we are at 95% and the Aerodactyl is almost done being created from the fossil. This took maybe 2 minutes to do, it wasn't too bad. And 99, almost 100, 100%, uh, yeah, you have to have a Pokeball ready, I forgot about that. So I'll just grab one Pokeball and then right click on the machine and then it'll give me my Aerodactyl. There we go, so now I have an Aerodactyl created from my old Amber. Pretty simple, pretty useful machine. Alright guys, our next machine is going to be the cloning machine, which has three parts to it. I'm going to show you the first one here, the green tank. It's going to take two emeralds, three aluminum plates, three obsidian, and a fossil machine. So, oh, ah, I did it again. I forgot to put all the stuff in here. So what I say? Some emeralds, fossil machine, let's get the emeralds, three aluminum plates, one, two, three. I only needed two emeralds. Oops. Oh man, I'm blowing it, guys. Uh, three obsidian. Uh, obsidian, and that should be it. That's nine items, so I'll fill up the place. Oh, oh, there we go. All right, so the three aluminum plates on top, the three obsidian on the bottom, and then a fossil machine surrounded by two emeralds. And there you go, you get a green tank. All right, in the middle, you're going to need a cloning cord, which is going to take six obsidian and three redstone. And I will make that now. This cord is going to attach that green tank we just made to the orange tank we're about to make. There we go, we now have a cloner cord. And for the orange tank, it's going to be the same as the green tank, but instead of emeralds, it's going to be gold ingots. I'm going to make that for you now. So it's going to be three obsidian on the bottom, three aluminum plates on the top, and then a fossil machine in the middle, surrounded by two gold ingots. And there we go, we get the orange tank, which is the third and final piece to the cloning machine. Now I'll show you how to put them all together. Alright, so it's a pretty simple design. You just put the two tanks on either side and you're going to attach the cord in the middle. So let me grab the pieces here. Green tank on the left, orange tank on the right, and a cloner cord in the middle will give you this cloning machine. Now when you place the machine down, you get this big old machine. You're going to have to put a mew in here. And then you put three iron, gold, or diamond blocks in here. 
Uh, diamond blocks are the best ones because they each give a percentage of a chance that you get a Mewtwo compared to a Ditto. So you want to put three diamond blocks in there preferably. I believe that gives you a 75% chance that you clone the Mew into a Mewtwo. Alright, and the final machine, probably the most important. I don't know why I saved it for last, but here it is. The PC is going to take six aluminum plates, one redstone dust, one redstone lamp, and one glass pane. Here we go. I'm going to make this one for you. So it's going to be surrounded by aluminum plates. Oops. Got one extra one in there. Glass pane on top, redstone lamp in the middle, and a redstone dust on the bottom. And that gives you a PC. Now, if you place the PC down, and let's see if I have any Pokemon in there. Right click on it. Nope. I don't have any Pokemon yet. But I will put my Aerodactyl in there. Just click on the Aerodactyl, then on the space, and there you go. It has 16 boxes worth of storage. Each box has, what, 6 by 5, so 30, 30 Pokemon on each. Pretty good amount of space to store your Pokemon. Alright guys, thanks for watching this guide. I hope that you found it helpful or enjoyable. If you did, please go ahead and drop us a like and a comment to tell us what you did like about it. Join the cul-de-sac by clicking on that subscribe button and follow us on Twitter at TheEdBoys. All links are in the description.